It's six. 16, my love. Six. <laughs> 16. <gasps> what could it be? I already know you ruined it. Oh. I ruined it? Yeah, because cause, cause you thought when I was here. Oh. Yeah, it was like this. But you always do that. So you just did it again. <laughs> See? It wasn't me. And I saw it. So I didn't ruin it. And I saw that was a rooster pack. <gasps> We're at the mall because Alexander's getting a haircut. And I have some, like I said, things to get. Um, and yeah, so here we are. Cute. Woosa. I honestly have just had quite the morning. We both woke up too late to our alarms, meaning that we were, we had like 15 minutes to get ready this morning, ourselves and the kids. Um, we get to the shopping center, Alexander's got a hair appointment. I realize I don't know where my wallet is. My wallet is not in my bag or my cards. So I'm now freaking out. Don't want to be in the mall anymore. Want to be at home looking for my wallet. Um, trying to think about what I need to do, but can't because all I can think about is said wallet, which thankfully is here at home. However, yeah, I didn't know that at the time, so I was mildly panicked. And then I've been having a really shitty hair day, which sounds so stupid, like first world problem. But when I tell you, as I'm sure you know, you get the gist now because I keep complaining about my hair in my vlogs. But I just can't stand it right now. Like I'm in the most, <laughs> I don't know, frustrating period with my postpartum regrowth and the fact that my hair is like fluff, thin long fluff that just gets in the way and I know if I cut it all off I will regret it and end up probably getting hair extensions so we're not going down that road again um I did however get what I needed to get from Pro uh, from Primark from the mall which was a shower cap from Primark because I shower every day I don't wash my hair every day I'm obsessed with shower caps because my hair is a pain in the ass, as we've come to realise, and yes, these help me massively when I take my pre-bed shower, or just any shower that doesn't involve washing my hair, and I know if I bring my shower cap from here, my one shower cap to Switzerland, I will forget it there, so I'm bringing one to Switzerland, and also padlocks, I've got these cute little hot ones, which... I don't know, my gut is telling me that if someone really wants to get into my suitcase, they're gonna get into my suitcase, but you know, deterrence. So I've got air tags and I've got padlocks and I'm just setting all the um, codes for these at the moment because they need to be set. And then I'm gonna go up and clean my makeup brushes because that needs to be done pre-holiday and Yes, there is actually, I also do need to, oh, did I, did I set this one? Um, yeah, I need to like go back over my suitcase just to make sure that everything that needs to be there is there. I know there are still some things I have to pack, um, like my Doc Martens. So I'm actually going to set those aside now. So that is that. So I'm trying this IsoClean makeup brush spray and what you do is you literally just saturate the tissue and then take the makeup brush and just swirl it around. Now these ones are pretty much clean but still could use a little bit of like, let's take a dirty one. So you literally just rub it around. And then it's literally clean. It's so simple. I mean, that is pretty much clean. 
So easy. Gonna do another one. There you go, it's clean. I mean, that is just bonkers, the other side. Again, clean. Say what? I'm setting up air tags for our suitcases um, because, I mean, if you can, then why not, right? Because I'm so paranoid about my stuff going missing, etc, etc. So, set up these little babies. So satisfying. Um, I really want to take these to St. Moritz because these are possibly one of my most, oh, just, well, yeah. These are one of my favorite pairs of shoes. And I've seen quite a few people wearing their New Rocks or New Rock-esque style boots and shoes in the snow. And these are... I just feel like they would be so cool. However, they weigh a ton. They're really, really heavy. And... Um, St. Moritz is like... Everything is on foot. You walk everywhere. Obviously, you can drive, but if you want to just sit in standstill traffic with this tiny little town, we don't drive anywhere. We walk everywhere. Um, and yeah, these, it's already exercise to walk around, so you want to make sure you're in comfortable shoes. It's not that they're not comfortable. They're just so heavy. It's like extra exercise. So I'm in two minds because there's just not really going to be a time where we're not walking a lot. But they're just so cool. Oh, I don't know. What do I do? It's not so much about space. It's more weight. And then am I going to bring them all the way there? wear them once and end up with like blisters or something and think why but then at least I wore them once so I'm so indecisive righty oh done with those um what is next so I want to go through my hello Hello. Hi. Oh, I can't. Why will you not let me? So now I'm going to go through my checklist to make sure that I have packed everything. Okay, so my makeup is there. I haven't packed it yet, but it's there. My toiletries are mostly actually packed. The stuff that I need, anyway. Do I take it? No, I don't think. No, it's okay. My hair stuff is packed. My belts are packed. My scarves are packed. My hats are packed. Jewelry. Yeah, I think my jewelry's packed. 
Mm, no, jewelry. I still need to grab some from downstairs. Bags are packed. As in handbags that I'm not taking. Oh, that's not packed. I need to find that. That I don't know. Packed. Okay, I need to. Mm. Oh my god, I'm still so indecisive about a few things. So I need to go and get my docs. Pretty much packed. I think I'm gonna have to forfeit the boots. Oh, my stomach just rumbled. Um, only because I just don't think I need them, to be quite honest. I'm taking my Doc Martens. I'm taking my like my Black Jadens. I'm taking these which I'm traveling in because they're so comfy and yep they're just an all-round good shoe for St. Mo. Um, so I have those, my docks, and then I have moon boots in St. Moritz. So do I really need these? I mean granted they are all dark shoes. Oh I forgot to bring this one out. Oh it's lighter. But then I don't need a lighter shoe. I need food. <laughs> That's what I do need. Um, we're going for dinner soon, but yes. I'm all about practicality, so I took them back out, and that is that. My makeup is going to go where they were, and I'm going to make do with the shoes that I have packed. Christmas tree looks so pretty. Come on, Missy. <laughs> Let's go. Mel? So when I randomly say words that you don't understand to her, it's because we half speak to her in Portuguese. Legs have to do press-ups. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, Fabio. Can you tell I'm cold? I look like a Jedi. Oh, Fabio's in shorts, like. It's so weird because in the mountains, it's cold, but it's just, it doesn't feel like, well, it's just not the same kind of cold, is it? This gets to your bones. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, lovely. No. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sibling politics. Doggies! Go, 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 go! What's that? What's that? What's that, Stella? You look beautiful, Stella. Fabio is doing the fire. Hello, Princess. Ma! Yes! Ooh! Yes, that's Paris. That's London. Sit. You want to sit? Where's Lego? Where's Lego? Thank you. Where's Lego? 
You want me to fix it? I love this room so much. It brings me so much joy. Book. Book. Look at her with her Louis Vuitton guide to Paris. Oh, now it's New York. Bobby, you'll have to use a pine cone and then <laughs> it made his life difficult. Oh, there you go. Don't make life difficult. Okay. Got, give me the dummy. If you gave it to me. Shusha? Pina? No. Okay. <laughs> Yay! No. Event. Dinner. Yeah, it's open. It needs to be open, right? Yeah, oxygen makes it burn. Thank you. <laughs> Alexander is asleep. Athena too. I fell asleep in bed with Alexander, getting him. Well, after reading him the story, I'm gonna say getting him to sleep, but. After reading her story, yeah, we both. K.O. Today is number 16. Fabio literally came in and was like, made me a cup of tea. Number 16 is, I saw it, this big drawer over here, next to Alan, who you can't see, who is off, out of shot. Hi, Ellie boy. Okay, we have, oh, we have three, three sets of retinol under eye patches. Nice. To be quite honest, oh, hi, Eddie boy. These will be great for travel day. It's a hydrogel under eye patch with retinol, vitamin C, with retinol and vitamin C to help brighten the under eyes. So yeah, I will have one for on the plane, one for the journey after the plane, and then one for the day, no, but it's really good that I have, to be fair, um, three packs. So yeah, 20 minutes each. Happy with those. I feel like my under eyes need all the help they can get. So that is a good day. For me. Oh. Oh. Ali boy on my lap. Um, the time is drawing nearer and nearer for us to go away and I'm super excited. Mildly anxious but you know the good good anxiety if that's even a thing you know like well as in it's the normal for me pre-holiday flight anxiety which is not bad but it's not good do you, you know what i mean like it's the, the jitters but yes anyway um i am so excited for all that is to come 
but I'm also excited for the fact that I've gotten most things done and the like immediate days before going away are like less hectic for me. So yeah, my starting to pack like two weeks ago is starting to pay off. Um, I'm gonna hit the hay after my cup of tea and see you guys tomorrow for a chill Sunday. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate all of your support um, in my Vlogmas. And I look forward to continuing to share my Vlogmas and more vlogs, even once Vlogmas is over. Not just vlogs, but lots of other videos, fashion videos and hoping to add more of that stuff into this anyway. So, exciting. See you tomorrow. Say bye. Bye. Say bye.